As a lot of people, we all look forward to seeing 4th of July fireworks tomorrow night. It can be such a different experience for our pets. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner spoke with a veterinarian about what pet owners should do to keep their animals safe. Williamsburg resident Dennis Lynn says he plans to bring his dog Gigi to the Macy's July 4th fireworks on Monday. She's not spooked by the fireworks. Uh, you know, she's going to be excited with all the people around, so for her, it's just happy. I mean, I'd hold her because there's a lot of people around. But CradleMyPet.com says more pets go missing on the 4th of July than any other day of the year because of the noise and the lights. Only 14% are returned to their owners. Dr. Jonathan Jaffe is the medical director with BonVet and talks about a common treatment for dogs with anxiety over fireworks. We prescribe some sort of sedative slash anti-anxiety medication to help them get through this problem. And to do that, you know, we oftentimes give it about two hours before the known stressful event is going to take place, which is usually around sundown. To prepare your dog, tips include making sure it's wearing an ID and microchip, getting your dog exercise before sundown, creating a safe space by placing your dog's favorite treats and toys in a room without windows, and closing the blinds. This particular breed is a Japanese Shiba Inu. I feel like he's kind of like a New Yorker dog at heart, so which is great. You know, he's just super chill. The heat and humidity is a Another factor, and we found dog owners prepared with lots of water. We came out in the evening when it's cooler, so that helps with the, the heat. He drank half of this already, so he's been well hydrated. Uh, we keep him in AC when we're at home. Uh, so yeah, we, we just, because we, he has an undercoat right now, so he's shedding a little bit. Here in the Meadowlands in New Jersey, fireworks are slated to begin in a few hours. So if you live in the area and you are a pet owner, it is something to keep in mind. In East Rutherford, New Jersey, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.